A Coruna, Spanish, La Coruna, La Coruna, is a city and municipality of Galicia, Spain. It is the second largest city in the autonomous community and 17th overall in the country. The city is the provincial capital of the province of the same name, having also served as political capital of the Kingdom of Galicia from the 16th to the 19th centuries and as a regional administrative centre between 1833 and 1982, before being replaced by Santiago de Compostela. A Coruna is a busy port located on a promontory in the entrance of an estuary in a large gulf on the Atlantic Ocean. It provides a distribution point for agricultural goods from the region. Name, in English, use of the Spanish or Galician forms now predominates. However, the traditional form Corona -E -E, can still be found, particularly in reference to the Battle of Corona in the Peninsular War. Archaically, the city was known as the Groin, probably from French, La Corone. Although this name could also be as much a geographical description given, the city occupies a small peninsula protruding out into the Atlantic. In Spain, currently the only official form of the name is the Galician one, a Coruna. Nonetheless, the Spanish form, La Coruna, is still widespread, and it is the traditional name in Spanish recommended by the Real Academia Española for texts in Spanish. Certain groups of people have advocated elevating the reintegrationist spelling, a Corona, to official status, pointing to the provisions of the Spanish Constitution of 1978 and claiming that it is unconstitutional to stipulate use of the Real Academia Galega spelling, but have not been successful so far. Origin There is no clear evidence as to what word the name derives from. It seems to be from Crunia, of unknown origin and meaning. At the time of Ferdinand II of Leon the name Crunia was documented for the first time. As usual in Galicia and Portuguese, the cluster N naturally evolved into the sound N, written N, NN or NH in Old Galician orthography. NN in Spanish, and NH in Portuguese an alternative Galician spelling. A is the Galician article equivalent to English, the, compare Castilian Spanish, la. A more poetic explanation sustains that, Coruna, derives from Gaelic, cor coronich, which would mean, the harbour of the brave men. However, this explanation could have some relation to the Laborgabala Aaron, which recounts the story of how the Celtic or Milesian king Briogan founded the city of Brigantia here and his descendants I.T.H. who spies Ireland, from the top of Briogan's tower, journeys north across the Celtic Sea to Ireland to investigate his discovery. A proposed etymology derives Crunia from Cluny, the town and religious order from France. During its height, the Cluniac movement was one of the largest religious forces in Europe. There is another town named Coruna in Burgos province. A folk etymology incorrectly derives Coruna from the ancient Columna, or Tower of Hercules, which still exists having been converted into a lighthouse in 1791. Another possibility is that the name means simply, the crown. The Galician word for crown is, Coroa, but the Irish word is, Coroin, with a dative form of G. Coroin, similar to the old attested form, the Groin. This form would seem closer to Coruna, and its dative form nearly identical to, Groin, in pronunciation. It is also possible it came about through changes to the French, La Caron, also meaning, the crown. It seems less likely that it traces back to the Galician Clunia or the Irish Cluan, meaning field or meadow. The mythic history is the home of King Briogan, or of Hercules killing King Gerion, as well as the crown on the skull and crossbones may be left over memories of A. Coruna having once been the seat of the crown. Norris in A. Coruna, Geography a Coruna is located on a peninsula, and its isthmus was at times formed only by a small strip of sand. Erosion and sea currents caused a progressive accumulation of sand, enlarging it to its present dimensions. A Coruna is one of only eight pairs of cities in the world that has a near-exact antipodal city. Christchurch, New Zealand, is its antipode. Administrative divisions 8 Coruna has five parochias. 
Acaruna, Alvina, Asvinas, Bisma, Ozar, Suburb Sadadabella, A Marina, Oz Cantons, Pisiria, Owen Sancha, Sadada Zarden, Catro Caminos, Agatera, Oz Malios, Zalita, Atacas, Monte Alto, Falpera, Santa Lucia, Juan Flores, San Pablo, Oz Castris, Agriduorzan, Isagrada Familia, Labanau, San Roque, Barrio das Flores, Elvina, Oventarillo, Castrolon, De Midiras, Oberloque, Matagranda, Os Roseus, Paseo das Pontas, Mesairo, Novo Mesairo, Sumzo, Viano, Eris, Monolos, San Pedro de Visma, Benz, A Silva, San Xos e Acute, Palavia, Casabranca, Azubias, Fiends, Azapatera, Santa Margarida, Climate The climate of Ake Karuna is temperate maritime, heavily moderated by the Atlantic Ocean. Autumn and winter are often unsettled and unpredictable, with strong winds and abundant rainfall coming from Atlantic depressions, and it is often overcast. The ocean keeps temperatures mild, and frost and snow are rare. In summer, it is quite dry and sunny. With only occasional rainfall, temperatures are warm but rarely uncomfortably hot because of the sea's cooling influence during the day, most often being around 22 degrees Celsius between July and September. Spring is usually cool and fairly calm. Even the warmest month on record was relatively subdued, being August 2003 with an average high temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. History Prehistory 8 Karuna spread from the peninsula where the Tower of Hercules stands, onto the mainland. The oldest part, known popularly in Galician as Sadada Vela, Sadada Alta or the Sadada, is built on an ancient Celtic castro. It was supposedly inhabited by the Artabrians, the Celtic tribe of the area. Roman times The Romans came to the region in the 2nd century BC, and the colonizers made the most of the strategic position and soon the city became quite important in maritime trade. In 62 BC Julius Caesar came to the city in pursuit of the metal trade, establishing commerce with what are now France, England and Portugal. The town began growing, mainly during the 1st and 2nd centuries but declined after the 4th century and especially with the incursions of the Normans, which forced the population to flee towards the interior of the estuary of Obergo. Middle Ages after the fall of the Roman Empire, a Karuna still had a commercial port connected to foreign countries, but contacts with the Mediterranean were slowly replaced by a more Atlantic-oriented focus. The process of urbanization that followed the fall of the Roman Empire also affected a Karuna. Between the 7th and 8th centuries, the city was no more than a little village of laborers and sailors. The 11th century chronicler Irienz names Pharaoh do Burgo as one of the dioceses that King Miro granted to the Episcopate of Iria Flavia in the year 572. Mirus Rex Seder Suae Hierians Econchilite Dioceses, Silice at Maratium, Salinensum, Brigantinos, Farum, King Miro granted to his Irienses headquarters the dioceses of Morazzo, Salnes, Burgantinos, Faro, the Muslim invasion of the Iberian Peninsula left no archaeological evidence in the northwest, so it cannot be said whether or not the Muslim invaders ever reached the city, as Muslim rule in early 8th century Galicia consisted little more than a short-lived overlordship of the remote and rugged region backed by a few garrisons, and the city was no more than a village amidst Roman ruins. The invaders showed the same lack of interest in the ruined city as they did generally for the region. As the city began to recover during the Middle Ages the main problem for the inhabitants was the Norman raids, as well as the ever-present threat of raids from Al-Andalus to the south. During 9th century there were several Viking attacks on the city, called at that time Pharaoh or Pharaoh Bregantio. In the year 991, King Vermido II began the construction of defensive military positions on the coast. 
At Faro, in the ruins of the Tower of Hercules, a fortress was built, which had a permanent military garrison. To pay for it, he gave power over the city to the Bishop of Santiago. The Bishop of Santiago became the most important political post in Galicia, and remained so until the 15th century. In 1208, Alfonso IX founded the city of Crunia. Some privileges, such as those of disembarking and selling salt without paying taxes, were granted to the city, and it enjoyed a big growth in fishing and mercantile business. The city grew and extended through the isthmus. In 1446 John II of Castile granted to eight Coruna the title of city. The Catholic monarchs established the royal audience of the Kingdom of Galicia in the city, instead of Santiago. A Coruna also became the headquarters of the Captaincy General. Later, in 1522, Charles V conceded to the city of La Coruna the license to establish the House of Spices. Being this the port chosen by Jafra Garcia de Loiza to set his expedition to conquer the Moluccans. In the late Middle Ages, before the expulsion of the Jews in 1492, a thriving Jewish community created a rich artistic heritage in the city. The most lavishly illuminated Hebrew Bible in medieval Spain was created in A. Caruna in 1476. Known as the Kennecott Bible, it is currently housed in the Bodleian Library, Oxford. Modern period During the modern period, the city was an important port and centre for the manufacturing of textiles. In 1520, King Charles I of Spain met in the courts of Eight Corona and embarked from its harbour to be elected emperor. Charles I allowed the government of the Kingdom of Galicia to distribute space in Europe between 1522 and 1529. Commerce with the Indies was allowed between 1529 and 1575. The castle of San Anton was built as a defense of the city and its harbor. From the port of Ferrol in the province of A Coruna, Philip II left to marry Mary Tudor in 1554, and much later, in 1588. From the same port the Spanish Armada would set sail to the Spanish Netherlands and England. In the following year, during the Anglo-Spanish War, Francis Drake besieged A Coruna, but was repelled, starting the legend of Maria Pitta. In the 16th and 17th centuries, the wars of the Spanish monarchy caused a great increase in taxes and the start of conscription. In 1620, Philip III created the School of the Boys of the Sea. In 1682 the Tower of Hercules was restored by Antunes. 19th century 8 Coruna was the site of the Battle of Corona during the Peninsular War, on 16 January 1809, in which British troops fought against the French to cover the embarkation of British troops after their retreat. In this battle Sir John Moore was killed. Spanish resistance during the Peninsular War was led by Sinforiano Lopez and A. Coruna was the only Galician city that achieved success against the French troops. French troops left Galicia at the end of May 1809. During the 19th century, the city was the center of anti-monarchist sentiment. On August 19, 1815, Juan Diaz Paulia pronounced against Fernando VII in defense of the Spanish Constitution of 1812. He was supported by the bourgeoisie and the educated people, but on August 22 he was betrayed. He was hanged in the Campo d'Arlina two months later. In all the 19th century rebellions, a Coruna supported the liberal side. A Coruna also played an important role in the Rex de Mento, and there were founded the Galician Royal Academy in 1906 and the Brotherhoods of the Galician Language in 1916. Regarding the economy, in 1804 the National Cigarette Factory was founded, and there the workers' movement of the city had its origin. During the 19th century other businesses were slowly established, but it was maritime trade and migrant travel that attracted Catalan, Belgian, French and English investments. The Bank of A. Coruna was founded in 1857. The new provincial division of 1832 also influenced economic development. 20th century At the beginning of the 20th century, A. Coruna had about 45,000 inhabitants. 
The Great Depression, Spanish Civil War severely affected the economy through the 1930s to the mid-1950s. The 1960s and early 1970s saw a dramatic economic recovery, which was part of the wider Spanish miracle. The international oil shocks of the mid and late 1970s severely disrupted the economy, causing many bankruptcies and higher unemployment until the mid-1980s, when slower but steady economic development was resumed. Elections of 1931 in the Spanish general elections, 1931. All the political parties knew that the electoral results had important political consequences. The campaign of Union Monarquica was very important in Eight Corona and was supported by El Ideal Gallego. Republicans and socialists constituted a bloc made up of Orga, independent Republicans. Spanish Socialist Workers' Party and the Radical Socialist Republican Party. In the elections, the Republican parties obtained 34 of the 39 council seats. The best results were of the Orga and of the Partido Radical Socialista, and the Radical Republican Party lost a lot of support. Democracy returns from 1983 to 2006. The mayor of the city was Francisco Vazquez Vazquez, and the city became devoted to services. But he also was criticized because of his being openly against Galician nationalism and his town planning policies. On 20 January 2006 Vazquez was named ambassador to the Vatican City, and was later replaced by Francisco Javier Losada de Azpiazu. In 2007 municipal elections the local government was a coalition of the Socialist Party of Galicia and the left-wing nationalist Galician Nationalist Bloc Party. The city celebrated its first millennium in 2008. In the 2011 municipal elections, the conservative candidate Carlos Negrera obtained a majority, the first one for the People's Party in the city since the arrival of democracy. Population The province and city of A Coruna during the 20th century after the Battle of Trafalgar and the War of Independence. The fortunes of Ferrol began to deteriorate. The largest port in northern Spain, site of one of the three royal dockyards, together with Cartagena and Cadiz, almost became a dead town during the reign of Ferdinand VII. By 1833 the city and naval station of Ferrol saw its civilian population reduced to just 13,000. During the administration of the Marquis de Molina, Minister for Naval Affairs in the mid-19th century new activities sprang up, but Ferrell never fully returned to its former glories. It should be noted that during those years, most of the Spanish colonies in Latin America succeeded in gaining independence from their former metropolis. The population of the city of A Coruna in 1900 reached 43,971 while the population of the rest of the province including the city and naval station of nearby Ferrol as well as Santiago de Compostela was 653,556. A Corona's miraculous growth happened during the aftermath of the Spanish Civil War at a similar rate to other major Galician cities. But it was after the death of Francisco Franco when the city of A Coruna left all the other Galician cities behind. The miraculous meteoric increase of population of the city of A Coruna and to a lesser degree Ferrol and Santiago de Compostela. During the years which followed the Spanish Civil War during the mid-20th century, can only be explained when we see the figures of the number of villages and hamlets of the province which disappeared or nearly disappeared during the same period. We are talking here about an economic revolution or substantial increase in living standards and not so much to an explosion of births, which has happened too. But looking to the overall picture what has happened is that the fields have been abandoned due to the introduction of new machinery and most of the population has moved to find jobs in the main cities increasing the number of people working in the tertiary and quaternary sectors.
found. An archive graphic for Wikipedia The City Today The municipality of A. Karuna has 244,810 inhabitants and a population density of around 6,700 inhabitants per square kilometer. In 2010 there were 12,344 foreigners living in the city, representing a 5% of the total population. The main nationalities are Brazilians, Colombians and Peruvians. By language, according to 2008 data, 7.75% of the population speak always in Galician. 36% speak always in Spanish and the rest use both interchangeably. A Karuna metropolitan area has nearly 400,000 inhabitants.